We're gonna talk about how to apply soap to our house. Sometimes people like to kind of do this with it. They like to keep hitting the green, but really it's all about getting the soap on the house. We get the soap on the house, that's what's important. So DJ, here's my lovely assistant. He's gonna show you how this is done and how easy it is. And I'm gonna be the guy in behind here. So first thing we're doing is, is we're hitting either the concrete or something because we're trying to get the soap to come out. So we're gonna keep running it. And now you can see bubbles down here that we're getting soap. Again, we're just gonna put a nice mist on it and we're gonna do a nice pattern. We're not gonna, you know, we can just do a pattern and we can either do half the house and do that half the house, or we can stand in the middle like this because we have a 10 gallon a minute and we can do almost the whole house. And then once we hit this section, we're gonna go up to the next section. So you right here, you can see he's right here. Now he's gonna move up and that's the bottom of that section to get the rest of that house. Again, we're not just keep spraying because there's green and there's mold. We're moving on up and then we're getting up here. Um, a lot of times if you have a smaller machine, you're gonna need to change nozzles. And, uh, but being that this is a 10 gallon a minute, this is gonna look like it may reach all the way to the top. The reason why we wanna soak from the bottom to the top is if we soak from the top down, what happens is, is as this water is running down in soap and chemical, the water actually will evaporate and the chemical can get stronger and stronger and stronger as it gets down. And at the, by the time it gets to the bottom, it can cause an issue of leaving little streaks at the very bottom because that chemical got so strong down at the bottom. This is something that is why we want to soap up in a nice pattern. You know, if you have a smaller machine, you kind of, you can sit right here at the corner. We can go all the way to the corner, work our way up, move up five, six flats, whatever. We're gonna use a 25 degree nozzle. We don't need to be using a straight shooter, things like that. And we're gonna go all the way to the top. Then we're gonna move over again. We're gonna do the nice 25 degree pattern. We're gonna hit it, go up, hit it, hit it. It's all about getting the chemical on the wall. It's not about, you can see that it's all wet and it's gotta do its thing. I'll talk about dwell here. Some issues, some things that we gotta watch is for gutters. If we have a gutter like this house over here, and we're standing here in the middle and we're shooting, we need to walk to the other side of that gutter and hit up to hit that other side of the gutter. But that is the basis of what we need to do for house washing and how to apply soap. Again, it's not about applying a bunch of pressure. Pressure means nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, you see what he's got there, it's a rain down effect. And that's where the GPMs makes the difference because that allows us to soap faster then higher pressure. So again, it's not about the pressure, it's about letting it do its thing there.